Welcome to the homework for lesson seven. This is module four of grade one. Get your name on here first. And this is going to be all about greater and lesser. Greater than and lesser than. And we're going to write numbers and circle the set that's greater in each pair. That's what it says to do here. And say a statement to compare the two, two sets. So we're going to say it out loud. Important to say it out loud. Even if there's nobody else in the room and you're by yourself, say it out loud yourself. Even if you're just hearing me say it or thinking it in your mind is not the same as using your mouth and saying it out loud. It's just not the same. So I'm looking at a bunch. Just consider this to be a group of 10. And there's another one. So that's two tens and two ones. That's the number 22. And here we have a 10 and we have one, two, three, four ones. So that's a 10 and four ones, 14. And it says circle the set that is greater in each pair. So that's this one. So you see what I did here. I circled my 10 groups because I've been used to doing that. I've been practicing that a lot. So I just did it without really thinking about it, counting my 10s. Uh, you don't have to keep doing that. But it's okay to circle your 10 groups just like that, as long as you circle the whole set, and that's what it's asking you to do. 22. And in my saying my statement to compare the two sets, I'm going to say 22 is greater than 14. And so here I have a group of 10, and then 1, 2, 3, so that's 13. And I have two groups of 10 here. That's two groups of 10, and then three ones, 23. This one's greater. 23 is greater than 13. Just like that. That's what we're doing. We're just counting, saying some stuff out loud, and following the directions it says. Let's circle the number that is greater for each pair. So here's a pair, and there's a pair. It, this can help if you're looking at numbers in other forms. It can really help to either draw a place value box or draw a picture. Or just write down the number in regular form. So I'm going to draw a place value box for these. All right, and this is going to be tens and that's ones. I'll just write T for tens and O for ones. So three tens, eight ones. Because this has, okay, three tens, nine ones. Oh, that's 38, that's 39. I'm going to circle 39 is greater than 38. All right. 25 and 35, these are already in regular form. Uh, and I know that 35 is greater. You could draw a picture of that, too, if you wanted to. See, so, okay, that's three tens. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And you can just see that it's got more 10, so it has to be greater. Write the value and circle the set of coins that has greater value. So these are dimes, and you could just write tens here above the dimes. And then that's a dime, but this is a penny. So these are two tens, and that's so the value is 20 cents. And this is 10 and 1 more, so that's 11 cents. And circle the set of coins that has greater value. 20 cents is more than is greater than 11 cents. Now we're writing the number. Circle the set that is less in each pair. And say a statement out loud to compare the two sets. So this has 10, 20, 30, 3 tens, and a single 1. And this is two tens and four ones. 31. Ooh, remember, this is less than in each pair, right? So this is 24 is less than 31. Or it says a statement to compare the two sets. I could, I could also say, I don't have to say that 24 is less than 31. I could also say 31 is greater than 24. As long as it compares the two sets, I can say it out loud. Either way, we'll be fine. All right, so here's two groups of 10, right, one, two, and this is a five group and three more, that's eight, 
28, and this has three tens, and it still has eight ones. And circle the set that is less. So 28 is less than 38. And now circling the number that is less for each pair, two tens, seven ones, and I could just write this in a place value box if I don't like looking at tens and ones, if I don't like looking at unit form, because sometimes they mix up the order of the units. And we're used to seeing two and seven and thinking 27, but sometimes they put the ones first and then the tens later just to make sure we're paying attention. And just to keep yourself from falling into that trap, you might want to do this. Three tens, so that's three here where the tens go, and seven ones, so that's seven here where the ones go. So here I can see I have 27 and 37, and I want the number that's less. So that's 27, and here we have 22 and 29, and you don't have to draw a picture of it, but you could if you wanted to, just like on the first page. But I know that 22 is less than 29, so I'm just going to circle it. Write the value and circle the set of coins that has less value. All right, so this that's a, a dime, and that's 10, that's a dime, and that's 10, and these are pennies, and those are ones. And here's a dime, and that's 10, and that's a penny, a penny, and a penny. So this is 10, 20, two tens, and two ones. And this is one ten and one, two, three ones. So we have 22 and 13. This is, and these are cents. And circle a set of coins that has less value. 13 cents is less than 22 cents. And we have a bonus page. Caitlin and Johnny are playing comparison with cards. They have recorded the totals for each round. For each round, circle the total that won the cards and write the statement. The first one is done for you. So in round one, it says here, the total that is greater wins. So we had to circle the winner and then write the statement. Here's the next one. Notice here it says the total that is less is the one who wins. So that means Johnny's going to win again because 24 is less than 27. Now I've zoomed out to show you the, the, the page here. And a lot of first graders like to write really big and they can't fit everything on that one line. But here's what happens if you, you know, if you, if you write big and you can't fit it on that line, it's okay. Uh, we'll see. The less, one that's less wins. So 24 is less than 27. There we go. You don't have to write that big. Really, you don't. But if you do, that's how you fit it on there. And it's okay. Okay, round three. The total that is greater wins. So that means Caitlin's going to win this one. So 32 is greater than 22. Sometimes you have to write it like that, too. Now, the words that you need to spell, greater than or less than, if you don't know how to spell them, they're right here in bold print, right there. So you really should spell them correctly. Because they're right there, so you can copy them. And round four, the total that is less wins. So Johnny's going to win that one. So I'm going to circle Johnny, because 26 is less than 29. I'm going to write that down. 20... Six is less than 29. And then finally, if Caitlin's total is 39, and Johnny's total has three tens, nine ones, who would have a greater total? Draw a math drawing to explain how you know. So we got to label it first. So K for Caitlin, J for Johnny. Caitlin's total is 39. It's 10, 20, 30, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Johnny has three tens. Two, three tens, and nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the same picture, so they have the same.